I think the challenges uh, with Scotland are probably similar to what England did have um, probably, I don't know, 50, 60 years ago. Um, the challenges are um, cricket across the board is probably seen in Scotland as an English game. It takes all day, um, you play in whites and you can still get a draw at the end of it. Um, so breaking down those barriers of what cricket actually is, is the number one thing that we find, um, not just in girls cricket, but in boys cricket as well. Trying to access girls only sessions can be, be quite challenging. Um, some local areas in Scotland aren't, aren't open to girls only stuff, um, so we have to do mixed, mixed classes. Um, further up the pathway, <coughs> one of the, the, the challenges we find is getting girls as soon as you get to that hardball level to stick at the game. Previously there were, weren't enough clubs offering hardball women's, women's teams to be found that by the time you get to hardball girls actually realise that getting hit by a boy bowling a hardball hurts, um, so they dropped out of the sport. So I think those were probably the key challenges that we find. Um, you know, finance is obviously always um, an issue that comes up, but um, I'm the kind of person who the glass is always half full, so you can use it as a barrier if you want, or you can just get on with it and find a way of uh, doing things cheaper or for free, uh, calling in a few favours now and again. Um, it always helps as well.